Welcome to the rec center on this Saturday evening. We got live hockey between the Edina Banami double A team and the St. Louis Park Oriole double A team. The Hornets 9 2 0. Tommy coming into this. I'm John Basil along with Tommy Remfer. And the Orioles get a shot at the number one team in the state, the Edina Hornets. Uh, they have been, they started out beating Stillwater this year 8 to nothing. So the Orioles are going to certainly have their hands full yes, uh, they tonight. Will. Yes, they will. They're, um, they have two losses this season, the uh, the Edina team, and they they lost to, they played in a tournament, the Bauer Invitational. I'm not sure where it's held, somewhere here in the cities, I believe. They lost to a, an all-star team from Anaheim, California, that is. And then they lost to the ever-prominent uh, uh, Shattuck team. Yeah, so, so they, they come in with a very strong record. They, they have not lost against uh, any non-all-star or combination team. Correct. Uh, they're undefeated, except for those two losses in that very competitive tournament. Uh, the Orioles, on the other hand, come in four and three. Uh, certainly, this is a test. Uh, I think one of the reasons you'll you'll see with the St. Louis Park going up to Double A is they want to develop the kids. They want them to play against the best. Well, tonight they're going to see the best. Yep. Yes, they will. It'll be it'll be good for them. Hopefully, you know they can stay with them. And I was talking to. Uh, a St. Louis Park father of one of the uh, players, and apparently the uh, the team that you know the Bantams have started, unlike high school hockey, they started their season three or three or more weeks ago, um, and apparently two of the players that were on the the Edina team early in the season uh, made their Edina high school varsity team. If you can imagine the talent of that, so they are no longer with the Bantam team anymore. Now they're playing up with the big boys at high school. So. But you look at the size of this Edina team. I look at Luther, big defenseman, Cromer, big player. Uh, I noticed one of the coaches, uh, Dave Twilliger, helps with the varsity team as well. Uh, I had an opportunity to play with his younger brother back in high school. So they certainly got some, uh, some uh, a deep, a deep bench, some very skilled players, and uh, uh, just watching them warm up. And I'm looking at the Orioles; they're looking good warming up too. I can tell you one, one of the keys to the game, Tommy, tonight will be the goaltending. Uh, Atticus Rash, certainly very capable, very strong goaltender for the Park team, uh, but he's going to have to be at the top of his game. Yes, yes, he he's will. See, there's no question, even before they drop the puck, that he's going to see the most shots he's seen all year uh, in this game tonight, uh, and uh, he'll have to be up for the task. Yes, yes, he will. It looks like, um, I mean, I know that the uh, the St. Louis. I, I want to call them the Orioles. I don't think that. I don't think technically they are, but um, they. They have what, basically three lines out there? We got three lines. Uh, one of the things that the St. Louis Park Youth Association has done is they want to develop players, has kept the team smaller so that everybody gets more ice in the developmental stages. And so that's uh, that's what you'll find is that they're very, uh, neither one of these teams will have a big bench. No, I was just um, gonna say, Dinah's so, got, it looks like about the same number of players out on the ice warming up right now also. So. Yeah, and so they, it, you know, it's one of that developmental phases and a lot of associations are going to it. Instead of, for example, Tommy having three Bantam teams with 15 or 16 on each team as far as forwards, you, you go with four Bantam teams and you have 12 on each team. Right. Well, then you're going to get those uh, kids that many more touches, that much more activity, help develop uh, develop them in the developmental years. Also allows you to put kids at the right level. And we're very fortunate the rebound in St. Louis Park hockey. Uh, years ago, we were merged, and we were lucky to have maybe 20 St. Louis Park kids playing. When our Bantam program, we're alone, and the, and the community has embraced that, and parents have worked hard at getting kids to play this fun game, and we're up you know, close to 48 players, which when you looked at years ago, you wouldn't think was possible. Right, But right. Uh, with a little hard work ethic, that's what you get. Yeah, the association has done a good job of promoting hockey in St. Louis Park here. So. So, well, we'll see what happens. We're about 22 seconds away from the uh, drop of the puck, and uh, the national anthem was played earlier for the girls' game at the rec center. On the other, I should mention right now on the other sheet, there's a squirt A game going on uh, between Orono and the St. Louis Park uh, St. Louis Park uh, squirt A team, and that game's also a big uh, tilt over there. So, plenty of action here. 
Uh, come on down, it's free. Come on no down, admission. it's free. And free. I tell you, this is going to be in Bantams. There is full checking. This will be a full. This, this game will uh, play very similar rules to the high school, except the length of the periods. There is a 90-minute clock, and the 90-minute clock means that this game cannot extend past 90 minutes from the time the players took the ice. That's a youth league rule. That clock is running up at the scoreboard along with the normal timer. Uh, rarely does that have come into play, but it certainly can come into play as this game goes on. There you see a shot of it, 84 minutes left to play three 15-minute stop periods. They will do the ice after the second period. They don't do the ice after every period, unlike high school. So should be a fun tilt. There's the Edina. Some good sportsmanship going on. The Edina and St. Louis Park picking up the pucks together before they go to their respective nets and, and get ready for the uh, get ready for the drop of the puck. Tommy, I look at their, uh, uh, you know, just to look at what this Edina team has played, Stillwater, uh, Elk River, Duluth East, Termintown, White Bear Lake, yeah. uh, and, and frankly, there hasn't been one of those games that they haven't won by over three goals, a lot of them over yeah. six goals. So, the uh, high school powerhouse teams, um, their Bantam teams usually are pretty good too, well, and it looks a, like we're going to have a moment of silence We're going to have a moment here. of silence. As I think most people know there was a very tragic accident up in uh, Brainerd with a, a youth player from Apple Valley, and so we'll take a moment of silence here. That was very nice. As John was saying, there was a, a youth, a Bantam player also from um, the community of Egan, the Egan Association, I believe it was, Patrick something. Pa Apparently Patrick uh, Schoenover. They released his name yeah. later or late, later this afternoon because I know this morning it wasn't um, it wasn't out. And, um, very sad. He was up playing in a hockey tournament in Brainerd. And, uh, uh, they don't know why. They don't, I don't know believe. why. They, you know, of course it wasn't a hit. Win. Let's put it this way. It wasn't a hit or anything mm -hmm. like that. He apparently just collapsed on the ice. And yeah, and I think all hockey, uh, you know, it's a small community, and our everybody's wishes go out to their family, and we'll have to <clears> wait for the autopsy to know more about what caused it. But I th certainly think that um, people feel uh, very bad about what happened, and our thoughts yeah. are with the family and thoughts are with uh, the, ho the whole hockey community and certainly the, the family from Apple Valley. Well, so the puck's dropped. Play is right now in the Dyna zone. Um, here they break out. Crosby down the, uh, the right wing. Skates it down into the corner. Takes it around behind the net. You're going to see a much faster game. Even though the kids are younger, you'll see a much faster game than the, um, than the girls. And they do have checking, unlike the girls. So you see a lot more body play. And the Orioles tried to break out and it was intercepted nice by the Indiana player there. Oh, tried to hit his winger there and just missed him. Puck kept at the, uh, on the correct side of the red line. Indiana jumps in and changes all five players. Could come the Orioles out. Tried Smart to hit his play by there. Smart play by RD to put it in so it wasn't going to be a nice. Here we go. Oh, centering play there by... Um, I'm going to have to learn these whole new set of names and numbers here. There goes Jensen down the ring. Shot. Atticus Rauch just got a blocker on that and pushes it to the corner. Dinah throws it back in. That looked like it was uh, icing. It didn't look like he crossed the red line there, but the refs didn't see it the way I did, obviously. The play continues on. Orioles have it behind their net. John, my uh, counterpart here, has a son on this team, so he's seen this team practice and play a lot of their games. This is uh, St. Louis Park's eighth game of the season, and this is Edina's 12th game of the season. They, um, Edina played in, a, it's already played in two tournaments, I believe, this season already. Two early tournaments, and the Orioles come in, I don't know if I mentioned it, but four and three, and uh, certainly uh, have had some nice success. But we'll see how they do tonight. Early going, both teams feeling each other out. Tommy, just trying to get a feel. Uh, not a lot of physical play yet. Um, but they're getting a flavor for one another. Puck down in the corner. That's 16. That's Brendan. That's Brendan Donahue. Uh, I'm sorry. No, that's uh, Brenty Ryan. Brenton Ryan. And here's a 3-2 for the Hornets. 
Takes it down around the corner, looking to pass out in front. Circles the net, throws it back behind the net. That's Brendan Donahue there. Brendan Donahue takes, takes a hit. Up. <clears throat> oh, there's going to be a penalty on the Orioles. On, uh, let's say, Blake Nukedecker is going to go for a hold, it looks like. That's too bad. Yeah, they will come out with the PK here. Um, kind of a, uh, got a little bit of a stick on him. I don't know if it was a hold, but he got maybe the stick on him a little bit, and the person fell, and uh, uh, it'll be a power play uh, for for the Hornets. I tell you, this is, again, one of those things where uh, power plays can kill you. <laughs> yeah. Because you get talented players, and these guys certainly have it, and they can move the puck around, and we'll see what happens. Oh, they're trying to get a late change of personnel, and, they're not, and the refs aren't going to allow the Hornets to make that change. Face off one by the Hornets over to his defenseman. Looking for something to do with it back to the center of the ice there. Ooh, almost poked free. Down behind the net. Sets up. Trying to find somebody to pass it to. Nice play there by. Um, That's, yeah, that was uh, Claire's. Claire's on D. He did a very nice job. Uh, oh, yeah, very Ryan, nice job. Ryan, Ryan Claire's. Claire's uh, He's the uh, younger, younger brother. brother of Connor Clares, the varsity goalie for St. Louis Park. Uh, looking hopefully to eventually play with his brother. Here's a two on one. Nice save by Atticus. Nice and save. you know what? That's exactly what we're going to need. Atticus yep. is a heck of a goaltender. And we're going to have to see if he can make those saves throughout the game. Yeah, that was a nice, nice little play center ace there by uh, the Hornets there to create a two on one. Second uh, power kill unit out for him, and the first power play unit out for the Hornets. Oh, there's a shot from the defense, blocked by uh, Basil. Oh, oh, puck, yep, came out. Just couldn't quite keep it on his stick there. Bounced over the stick and bounced over the line, and we'll have a face off outside the uh, Orioles' blue line here. Got a minute 15 left in the power play here for the Hornets. Nice job there by Basil to win the draw and just push it all the way down. Didn't even try and draw it back to his own defenseman. Just shoved it all the way down the ice. Teeing up on the power penalty kill here. Looking for a break, which they get. Yep, you dine a lot at center ice there. And um, Otis, how do you say Otis's last name? Uh, Walvat? Walvatny? Well, you got it, the second one. Walvatny. Here comes Udine across center ice. Brinkman takes the puck. Tries to come out in front of the ice. It's a nice job there by uh, Shea Pekarik to keep him wide. Set up the power play. Back to the point. Shot. Deflection. Oh, that almost went off a skate into the net there, but um, fortunately it just went wide for the Orioles. Down low. Looked to do a give and go there. Shot. Came back out in the slot, and there was an Oriole there to scoop it up and drive it all the way down the ice as they change off four penalty killers. Ten seconds left in the penalty. Or in the penalty. Here come the uh, Hornets across. Nice poke there. Jonathan, Johnny Sorensen gets the puck and clears it all the way down. Up, oh, we have a nice. The penalty yeah. had just expired. Just expired. So, but you know what? A, a good kill. A yeah. Very good kill. I don't by know. The they, I think they had maybe one decent shot on goal in that in that. Uh, power yeah, play. and it was a very nice stop by Atticus. But yeah. you know, uh, to to kill off that power play and to uh, come back five on five is what the Orioles were looking to do. Promising start here for the Orioles against the very powerfully dynamic team. It's a nice block by Blakey. He was yep. in the penalty box. Now he's doing a nice race. Oh, they go. No, that's too bad. I don't know about that call. Ryan's going to get called from checking for me. I don't know, behind or cross check if he's Or lucky. a cross check. And they blow the whistle, and there will be another penalty on St. Louis Park, unfortunately. What are they going to call here? Let's see what the referee's going to do. He's going to confer with the other ref to see if it's a cross check or hitting from behind. He hasn't made a call yet, and obviously you want the cross check if they're going to give him. Right. Uh, yep. Game yep. across check. Cross and, check. And, and it, you know the pro in youth, uh, it would have been a two and a ten, but the problem is we would have had to put someone else in the box. Yes. And so you lose a player with these short benches for ten minutes, Tommy. So we'll take that call. If he's going to call it, we'll take the cross check versus the the uh, checking from behind. Yes. And uh, of course now that puts us in a very uh, again once again have to kill off a penalty and and against a very talented team. 
Nice play by Udina there. Got the puck all the way across and the shot was just partially deflected and went wide. Udina sets up again down in the corner. Oh, nice deflection there. That was Ben Ben Bakken. Ben Bakken, number three. Nice stop by nice Atticus. shot from the point there. Easy save for Atticus off the uh, pad. There's Brinkman out at the front. It looks like they're running like a 1-3-1 on, the, on their, their power play. One man up high. And the Orioles dump down the ice and Luke Mobley's chasing it down there along with uh, Brinkman for Edina. Brinkman's gonna bring it all the way up with a big head of steam, crosses the blue line, lets a zinger go. Atticus shove, throws the glove up in the air and snags it and we'll have a face off with uh, 104 left in the Edina power play. Yep, that was a nice and that beautiful save by Atticus because he had, it was a very hard shot. Yeah. He, had, he had a lot of steam and he really unlet the rock, he let the rocket go. But I'll tell you, they got a uh, good good uh, forecheck by Luke. Uh, the second player in on that PK has got to put a little more pressure on Brinkman to force him far, one way or the other to slow him down a little bit. Uh, otherwise, they can really come up with a head, head of steam. Head of steam, yeah. Yep. So a little passive on that. <clears throat> oh, oh, that was close. Back to the point. Oh, we'll just that. couldn't quite keep it in. Puck comes out. Udina's going to have to regroup with 40 seconds left in their power play. Oh, there's a nice check thrown. It's one of the first checks. You know, it's been kind of a, you know, as I say, so far they've been feeling one another out. Hasn't been a lot of contact. I've been at a lot of the games, and there's been a lot more physical contact. This has been a, one of those games where they're just kind of getting a flavor. Oh, nice save by Atticus. Oh, and they put it in. Sec I think that was even maybe the second rebound off that shot from the original yep, shot in the slot there. We're not gonna see who did it. I think maybe it was number uh, 13 for the Orioles. Uh, and I'll tell for you, Edina. for, for uh, maybe 11 or 11 or 12, I think. Uh, we'll take a look. That's probably uh, Crosby or Jungles. Uh, and um, uh, that was a power play goal, Tommy. Yeah. So again, uh, penalty kills power play and uh, that can make a difference. Oh, almost intercepted there, that should be. Uh, now, I don't know why they waved icing off there, but the Orioles have to go back and pick it up in their own zone. Shoemaker gets the puck, throws it out to his defenseman. Who's that, Fies? From the Orioles on a nice breakout. There's Luke Mobley, nice job by Fies there to step up and intercept that pass at center ice. Good gap control there by the uh, Edina defenseman. Borlicki crosses the red line, drops it in low. Throws it down behind the uh, Orioles net. It's in the corner. There's Mobley. Swanson throws the puck around behind the net. Bakken and goes into the corner. You can see the physical play starting to pick up a little bit. Here comes Mobley out with a nice rush. They got a three on two if they can keep it going here. Drops it. Oh, that's too bad. Kind of, they were almost too close together there. They were. I don't think he was expecting the pass. Yeah, I think that drop, it was tight, and I think, um, you know, I, I can really feel the Orioles playing a little more tentative than what I've seen them play in past games. Uh, I think it's just a matter of them getting used to, uh, you know, believing that, hey, these guys put yep. the same skate, skates on the same way, and they can skate with them, and they're skating just fine with them. Yeah, just yeah, they are. Just tentative. There's a big hit by Blakey. There's a, yeah, you can see that it's picking up a little bit. Oh, we had a uh, puck was thrown in the Edina zone, and there was two Orioles players across the blue line, and because it went on net, they blow the whistle. They would normally, they do delayed off sides, but because the puck went on net and the goalie touched it, they um, blew the whistle for offsides. Face off here at center ice, just on the Edina side of center ice, one by the Hornets. Oh, we got a two on one here. Shot from a bad angle there, Atticus catches it and keeps it in his chest there and we'll have the uh, face off with 6-12 left in the first period in the Orioles zone. Well it's been an interesting uh, interesting first uh, nine minutes here. Uh, you know a couple penalties for the Orioles. Uh, one resulting in the goal. One resulting in the goal and uh, but yeah definitely a uh, uh, one of those things where you can tell that they're, they're feeling their four checks. They're feeling a the high stick here on the Orioles. Uh, not a penalty just played the puck with it. So bring the whistle deep in. So we'll see what uh, uh, 
and see if the Orioles can win the draw. But it's been very interesting to me to see the, both these teams just kind of feel out the four check. Nobody's going in too aggressive yet. Yeah. But I, I think as this game picks up, you're going to see more and more aggressiveness come out. A little more physical play. A little play. more physical, a little more trying to get separation between the player and the puck. We'll see what happens. Face off one by the Orioles. That's a set play by the Orioles, and they work well. Get it out. They just uh, they have a little more time, I think, than what they think they have right now. Nice play there, and the, here comes Mobley across the line. Looks to go in. Nice job by the the uh, Edina defender there to keep him wide, not let him get the shot off. Oh, big rebound there off the other side on the shot by Edina. No one home to pick it up. This comes harmlessly out to the point. There's a centering pass. Sam Baker had the Edina player tied up nicely so he can get, couldn't get a shot off. Edina's got the puck behind the net, centers it. There's a shot, it just goes wide. Edina's trying to control the puck behind the, uh, the Orioles zone there. Nice job. Oh, nice to fly. Almost worked that deflection there. Yeah, we just having trouble getting it out. A little nice stop by Addy. Uh, a little on this our left wing there. We had trouble getting it out. We had some time along the boards, but we got to get that past that D. We kind of fed the D. Yeah. And we were able to come back, back in and I make think a you shot. hit it on the uh, the head before when you said that they, um, you know, they, they know they're playing against a good team and you start to get a little tentative and, and not play your game because you don't want to make a mistake for fear that they're going to convert on it instead right. of just doing what you know how to do best and a little shot from the point there, and I think harmless. They, and I think they have a little more time than they think they got too. Uh, you know, they're getting the puck and they're throwing it a little bit, like there, uh, where they got time. Now Willie's got time here, so you want to take your time. Willie brings it across center ice, comes in, tries to make a move around four Edina players and gets the puck taken off. That should be icing. Nope, they're going to wave it off. It's not going to make it down there in time. So Donnie who picks it up. Brent Ryan throws the puck into the corner. The Orioles give chase. There, Willie, nice job by Willie there. Took the body, then played the puck back to his defenseman. <clears throat> Jungles in, 1-0, oh, nice move by Jungles. Better save by Atticus. Atticus. Yep, and it was a very nice move. Jungles just kind of undressed our defense there, but he, yep. when he came in, he he uh, he had Addy to beat, and he I think he surprised Addy a little when where he went, but Addy was so well positioned on right. his angle, it hit him and dropped down. Then Addy just had to find the rebound and made a nice save, beautiful save by Atticus, and a very talented play by the Jungles uh, young man. He kind of gets the puck in the slot again. Oh, there's a shot that just goes deflected off and goes into the corner. Ediner brings it out front. Nice job there by uh, Bakken to block the puck so it couldn't get in front of the net. Orioles cleared. It goes off any Ediner player so there won't be no icing. Brinkman down in his own zone. Throws it around back to his winger. Oh, there was a nice shot by uh, Almost tipped that? in. Almost that tipped in by Mobley. Clears yeah. he, and Mobley got a piece of it. Almost tipped it in short side. So that was a very nice uh, nice shot by Clarezy to keep it low so Mobs could get his stick on it. And he just just goalie had the pad in the right yep. spot, but uh, nice play, nice read by uh, Mobes, nice read oh, by Clarence. Oh, that was not a good pass by Bach in there, turns it over. You like the shaft of the stick, I don't know if you saw that, but the yep. shaft of the goalie stick made the save there. Dinah has the puck, brings it out. Oh, nice move there by, who is it? Tries to take a shot, it was blocked nicely by the Orioles there, and the puck clears back out to center ice. And down into the Edina zone. Or Licky has the puck, doesn't quite get across the line. Back to the Orioles defense. Oh, he tried to drop us through a fence partner and didn't see him over there. Oh, there's a penalty coming on Edina for either checking from behind or boarding. Here comes Willie Basil across the line. Got a stick taken. Oh, I thought he got a stick knocked out, but. We're going to have a penalty here on Edina. I'm not sure what they're going to call. 
It happened down in the seamless park zone there down in the we'll corner. What, yeah, we'll see what they call, but now now the park's got to answer. You know, yep. uh, they they answered on it, now we got to answer. It's on number seven, Dahl. It's a checking from behind. He's giving them a two and a 10, so that means they lose two players. Yep, so they'll have a two and a 10, so one has to go in to serve the two minutes, and then Dahl will be out for 10 minutes for hitting So he'll from be behind. out for 12 minutes, actually. Yes, he'll be out for 12, because it starts after that two minute is gone. That is correct. So now we got a little power play for the Orioles for two minutes, and we'll see if we can't get one here and so get this the, lit up. Yeah, there's a uh, three second differential in the power play and the period. So basically, the Orioles will have the power play for the rest of the period unless they score. Oh, there's a cross ice pass. Nice play by Edina there. Wow, look at Edina. It's pretty confident on their PK. They send a player out send a player out as soon as they get the puck to try and maybe get a, uh, a free one down there. Orioles trying to regroup here behind their own zone. Here comes um, Mobley. Luke Mobley out. Passes it over. Here's Shea Pekera who drives it in around the boards. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Pekera gets one-on-one. -on -one. See what he does here. Circles the net. Keeps it. Just going to drag some time off the, uh, the clock there. Nice play by Edina. Oh, he almost lost it there. Back to his defenseman who clears it all the way down. That's played with a high stick, so they can't touch it. As soon as the Orioles touch it, that'll go away. You got 43, 42 left in the power play and 30, 40 left in the, panel, or in the period. There was a shot by Brinkman on a turnover by the Orioles. Here comes Claire's out again through center ice, crosses the red line, takes it in, drops mm. it back. Oh, not a good play there by Claire's. I don't think he saw the Adina player no. there waiting. Sleep, uh, slipping behind. But you know what? Another nice thing about this being filmed tonight would be a good game film for the coach and the boys. They so can look yeah. at some of those things and. You can watch a video. All right. There was a long. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Here goes Jungles in. Let's see if he can stop him again. No. That's too bad. That was too bad by the Orioles there. The defenseman got too close together there and he tried to pass it to him and yeah. I don't think he was expecting it because he was so close to his teammate there. And, and, and what a move by Jungles. Uh, you know, very uh, skilled player. Uh, came in, gave a little move and yep. quick hands. Uh, did he a got, very nice play. He got stopped the first time. He wasn't going to make it two in a row. Right. So right. we got three seconds left in the period here. Basically the first period is going to end. Well, I tell you, Tommy, I, I, a couple breakdowns on the Orioles. Uh, the one uh, power play goal, the other one was a uh, uh, just shorty, a shorty uh, with a little mix up between the wing and the defenseman. And you, you turn it over at your blue line to a person like Jungles, and he's going to go in and make you pay for it. And that's exactly what he did. On a positive note, some very good goaltending by Atticus. Yes. Um, I do think uh, the Orioles are looking a little tentative to what I've seen against other teams, but they're just going to find their way here. I think the second period, I think we're going to see. A little more physicality out of both teams, and I think you'll probably see them settle in and uh, turn it up a little bit too. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I'd like to be over there at the bench and hear what coaches Dan and Hank have to uh, say to the boys. Yeah, so you, you, you've got uh, you got uh, Steve Henry, which goes by Hank, the head Bantam coach for the, the St. Louis Park. Uh, Big Dan is his assistant, along with uh, Claire's, who's the goalie coach, and uh, you know the three of them. Uh, work together with a small group of young men and you know their goal is to try to get them ready to uh, try out for the varsity team uh, next year. Yeah, they, they, you know what, they'll have the varsity team will have a lot of um, openings available next year. I think they have seniors. a lot of seniors. Well, I know they have a lot of seniors on the team. I want, I want to say probably there's going to be at least probably like a dozen seniors graduating this year that are playing varsity and JV hockey for the Orioles. So there'll be a lot of opportunity for these players to move up and play at the next level and make an impact. Yeah, the one difference between the high school games, whether it's the girls or the boys and, and these youth games, is there will be no, uh, we're going right into the second period here. They'll do the ice after two periods, uh, but not between every period. So this will be a little slower ice, um, and uh, the Orioles will come right back, and the Hornets will come right back, and then we still have uh, three seconds on the power play. Oh, 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 the referee just took one in the back of either, right in the side there. He, he just got stung. Edina player shot the puck, tried to, tried to ice the puck down and 
got the ref right in the back there. He's still, he's still feeling it a little bit there. There's a nice centering play. Oh, that's too bad. It was that Ryan just? Trenty Ryan almost had one there. Nice pass by Blake Newdecker. Just got the uh, the Dino player just got a stick on it. Oh, there was a shot. There we. Oh, there was another another, another play by Ryan. Just just went wide. Nice play by the goalie there. Oh, that was a dangerous pass there. Unfortunately, it went to the Orioles player. Throws it back down into the corner. He kind of tries to bring it around the boards. Oh, there's a deflection. Nice deflection there. Orioles are putting some nice pressure on here. Let's see if they can keep it in this, or, or the Edina zone. Edina comes out. Looks like they want to get a line change, so they just dump it in. Oh, Edina gets a turnover there in front, throws it just wide, or uh, pucks down here in the corner. Here the Orioles come out with it. Jonathan, Johnny Sorensen comes out. Looks to give it to Baker, who loses the puck. Nice job there by Donahue to keep the puck in the zone. Nice, yeah, very nice pinch. Uh, the wing's got to recognize that a little bit. Here we go. Oh, nice play. There and, it is. And Look it, at that. Nice play there by the beautiful tic-tac-toe passing oh. play. And Baker and uh, Baker and Otis made a beautiful play. Rebound came out. Mobley kept going to the net and put it home. What a play. Uh, I just love the way Sammy and Otis made made some great passes, some great plays. I liked how Luke continued to go to the net, yep. picked didn't up the garbage, didn't picked, quit, yep, and put her home. And we got a 2-1 ball game. And I tell you what, that, <laughs> since this period has begun, it's been all Orioles. Yeah. Face off one by Dinu, drives the puck down into the Orioles end. Atticus plays it for his defenseman there behind the net. Here Dinu comes up, tries to bring it out. Oh, Crosby gets the puck. Oh, that's too bad. Nice play by Crosby there. He looked like he was, I think the Orioles thought, or the St. Louis Park thought he was going to pass it down low, and he just took the puck and went right to the center of the ice and shot it and beat Atticus over the left shoulder there. And yeah, you don't, you, you hate to see the uh, the line that just scored turn around and give up one right when they're out there. And again, that's a learning thing, is that they really, you know, you give up a goal, you come back and you play really hard. A little passive when he was on the boards, they let him yep. walk right in on Atticus. And you want to put a little pressure on that forward uh, walking off the wing, walking off the board. Put a little pressure so he doesn't have the opportunity to really right. uh, tee up and, and, and what a shot. You know, that's a very yeah, tough that shot. Yeah, that was a nice shot. That's a tough one for a goalie, you know, goalies, Butterfly goalies, they go down, so if you're going to beat him, it's normally going to be high. Well, there was a little, almost a chance for Edina there in front of the only net. Willie throws it in. Goalie drops it off nicely for his defenseman who brings it up the ice. It's a great play by Shea. Should have been a penalty there, I thought, on... Oh, nice play there by... A beautiful save by Addy. Yep. I thought the Dyna got away with one there. I thought that should have been a penalty back there when, when Shea was pulled down and yeah, ended up being right. a turnover by the uh, Orioles. As Basil gets the pocket center ice, looks to hit his winger, just misses him. Here goes Mobley. See if he can beat the, the defender. Oh, nice job there, almost there. The, the, crashing the net again. Looking to get something going in front of the net there. Dinah gets the puck out. Clears it all the way down. Are we gonna have icing? Nope, didn't quite make it down there. And Benji Bakken has to uh, play it. That's the slower ice in the second period. You know, if that would have been in the first or the third, you're gonna see that puck make it all the way down for ice. Bakken keeps, holds the zone, takes a shot. Nice nice block there by the Edina defenseman. Nice outlet pass off the boards there. Here comes Edina two on two. Shot, Atticus gobbles it up. Nice job by Atticus coming out of his uh, goal there and cutting down the angle. Got 11.07 left here in the second period with a 3-1 score, Edina leading. We'll have a face off here in the Orioles end. Well, it was won by Dinah, and then it ended up back behind um, St. Louis Park's net. 
There's Claire's. Tried to hit it, just missed his player there, and the puck did come out, and he kind of clears it right back in. Nice break out there. That's Johnny Sorensen. Johnny Sorensen, who will be playing his. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no -no. Oh, nice move by Luther there. Tries to go around the St. Louis Park. Oh, wow. Hey, you know, Luther from a bad angle. And what? I don't know how Atticus even saw that. I think no. his own defenseman was screening him. But he stuck his glove out there and grabbed it. Nice job. Nice job. And I tell you, uh, it was a... <laughs> For that bad angle, that shot, that shot was going in. If Atticus yeah, doesn't think, make that save, I think it was too. Yeah. Atticus hurt there. Looked like he was. They got one. Oh, they got, got one. Penalty Edina. there. Penalty on Edina. What do they call? He called interference on an Edina player yeah. down here in the Orioles. Yeah, zone. I think that Willie was going to get it to the boards first. He just kind of grabbed him, pulled out, so he called a hold. So. So Kumantas, Kumantzis. Not sure. Sorry, I'm. Butchering your name. Uh, that's a Greek name. That's his buddy from. Uh, that's uh, Willie's buddy from uh, uh, church. So, oh, really? Yeah, they were going at it a little bit. Oh. There, so. <laughs> so the Orioles go on a power play here with 10 minutes and 10 seconds left in the second period. Bring it. Orioles tried to bring it across the blue line, and Edina got the puck and cleared it all the way back down. The Orioles will have to regroup behind their own net. Out they come. Basil has the puck. Oh, tries to hit his teammate up there, and the Dyna defender stepped in nicely and intercepted, and we'll start over. Try this again. Try to see if we can hit it stick to stick. Shea, Carrick bringing the puck down. Nice break out there. Basil drives the puck all the way down low. Dyna tries to ring it around the boards. Mobley's over there nicely to get hold of it and we set up the power play. Mobley, oh, beautiful play by Luke Mobley there who tried to shelf it over the goalie after he went down and it just popped up over the top of the net. That was a tough shot by Mobley. Back out to the point, there's a shot just wide. Oh, we might have a two on two on one here for Edina. Come on. What are you doing with this? Ooh. Nice save there by Atticus. Keep, the, keep a close play there. I watch the boys right now. They got to get a, a little bit lax of days on the power play. So, what are you doing there? Well, they got to yeah. back check, four check if they get a break. So, they're a little bit lax of days ago right now. Uh, come Mobley again. Let the shot go. Big boom and shot. Just went wide, and then Basil throws the rebound just wide also. And Edina gets the puck and clears it all the way down. We got uh, 20 seconds left in the Orioles' power play. Clears picks the puck up behind his own net, comes out, makes a nice move there at center. Goes across the red line, all the way down, drops it back, picks it up again. There's a nice cross side pass. Beautiful pass. That Jackson. Yep, Jackson got a shot on net. Little man. Little man, he's a first year Bantam on this team, and uh, one of the few first year Bantams. So he, most of these boys are ninth graders. Um, uh, I think he's the only eighth grader eighth on the grader team. Eighth grader on the he? team, yep. And so it's nice to see him grab that puck and get a shot. They got someone coming out of the box in three seconds. Orioles got to be aware of that. Yep, nice job there by Claire is well aware. Oh, his partner has got to be aware of it as well. Yeah. Yep. Oh, big scrum in front there. The rebound came out and there was a couple of Edina players and a couple of Orioles players there and Puck managed to stay out of the net. Atticus covers it up and a little face off here with 7.59 left in the second period. Edina successfully killed off that power play, although the Orioles did have a couple nice chances there to score. They did. And I hope, you know, there's a learning uh, uh, time for players did a nice job of covering back to cover the guy coming out of the box, but his defensive partner didn't recognize it, threw right. it apart, and then gave him a nice two on one break. Uh, so they got to be careful. And they, that's just awareness of the situation. And as they play more and more together, they, uh, they'll get used to that. Yep. Communicate. Just tell tell your partner that you're, uh, you know, normally the, you'll normally you'll hear the goalie for the the team on the power play tap his stick to let his teammates know that the penalty is about to end. And right, Atticus didn't do that, so I'm sure he'll coaches will let him know that too. 
Dinah steals the puck. Nice, nice job by Bakken there to take the Dinah player off the puck and then they get it right back. Up the half wall, back down low. Swanson throws the puck to his teammate. Couple Orioles and three Hornets in there fighting for the puck. Back to the point, there's a shot. Oh, 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 nice save by Atticus. Wow, stuck his glove out there, or the stick, bl the blade of his stick, or whatever you call that fat part of the stick, John. The paddle. The, the paddle. paddle, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, the for. paddle. Laid his paddle out there and kept the puck out of the net and then covered it up. Well, 3-1 tilt here, and uh, 6.59 left in the second period. We'll see if the Orioles can't get one. It'd be nice for them to get one before the end of the second. Yes. Going for the rest and, and make it a tight game. Oh, there was a nice check behind the net there. Centers up out in front, blocked again nicely by the Orioles defenseman. Dinah manages to hold the zone. Here come the Orioles out. Tries to hit his man and the Edina defenseman kept his nice gap control there and was able to pick the puck off. Orioles have to regroup in their own zone. Edina gets, throws it in. Rauch plays it behind the net. Long cross ice pass. Ryan. And there's Sorens, Joey Sorens, or Jonathan Sorensen throws it down low. There's five Sorensen boys, I think, that have played hockey or youth hockey at St. Louis Park. It's, for me, it's hard to keep them all separate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's and there's the more system. coming up. There's more coming up. And they have a little sister, I think, that might even play too. Mm -hmm. now, yeah, I'm sure it's a family tradition, right? Yep. Okay, here we got, oh, boy. Oh, big rebound. Nice, oh, nice, nice job recovery. by Atticus. Beautiful recovery he by Addy. He didn't panic at all on that. No. He slid across. Yeah, Addy's in perfect doing. position. Kept the puck out. I think that's the one thing that our forwards are doing a little more. Oh, NRD. there's a giveaway. Uh, Hope it doesn't cost them. Nice job there to back check. Oh, that's going to be icing on the Orioles. Yeah, we're just uh, we're just throwing the puck a little bit. You know, we, we they've got more time than I think they believe they have. Yep. Um, and so they're you know we're getting the puck and we're throwing a little bit all over the ice, the de from the defense to the wings to we're coming up the ice. It's it, I think what the uh, what the St. Louis Park players got to realize they've got time. Just be patient, get your feet moving, and look for the look for the pass. Medina wins the draw. There they are on the half wall, throws it back down and low. And his teammate picks it up and throws it all the way around the net. Jungles has a nice move by Jungles there to avoid the Oriole defender. Gets the puck back out to the defenseman who takes a shot and is deflected into the corner. That Swanson gets the puck. Oh, they're sitting it. In. Yeah, it's a beautiful play by Sammy Baker. He took it, he had time, he didn't just yep, throw didn't, it. Exactly. Yep. P lifted his head up and looked for a, a man to pass, pass it to. to. Yep. Nice to see. Mobley gets the puck and drives it all the way down. Some of the Orioles are changing here. Dinah's nice outlet play there. Here comes Crosby across the Orioles' blue line. Ooh, look at that. I think that hit Atticus' face mask, it sounded it did, like. yep. And that's all right. However, you got to stop it. Using yep. the head once in a while is just fine. Oh, that's too bad. The Dinah, the Dinah player took the puck out of the uh, corner, corner there and, and just came got out in five front. And yeah. He was able to walk around the D and then uh, kind of caught uh, Eddie on the five hole. Eddie think I was going down at the same time. He was just coming out trying to cover low. Uh, that's a goal that you don't want to give up, right. you know, certainly against the Hornets. Um, but uh, hopefully we can rebound and come back. So we've got a 4-1 score here, Edina leading St. Louis Park uh, with 4-16 left here in the second period. After the second period, we will have a in short intermission as they redo the ice. Give these players a chance to get some water and get some rest. Puck down in the Oriole zone. Falling Oriole player is able to pass it up to his teammate. Help tries to push it through the Edina player skates. And be off to the rush. And, oh, here, here comes Sorensen. Nice move by Sorensen. Backhand. 
Even better play by the Dine defenseman to keep him off the puck. Sorensen has the puck. Oh, nice, nice job play there by, by Brett Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, he took it out and he tried to get it up in the uh, up in the cookie jar. And, yep. uh, but nice play, nice thought. Uh, you know, we that's, have, a, that's a hard shot for a Bantam on a backhand. Get, get yeah. any kind of mustard on that. I thing know. And, it really is. Um, but he had a good effort, and you know what? When he gets bigger and stronger, that'll that'll work for him. Sure will. So we have 3:35 left here in the second period with the faceoff down in the Dyna end. Off the faceoff, the shot just went wide by the uh, Orioles center there, Sorensen. Dyna on the breakout crosses the, the red line, takes it down to the side. Nice job there by the Orioles. That was defenseman. shape and character, beautiful play. Got a stick on the puck there and. What didn't let that pass go through, and here comes players. Yes. Tried to center it to his uh, teammate, who was tied up nicely by Dinah. Good read, read by Luke. Nice job there by Atticus yeah. to come out and cut down the angle again. Atticus does a great job of uh, playing out, you can call it, out of his box there, that little blue area in, uh, in front of the goalie there. That you want you want your goalie to come out on top of that when you when a player's coming down to cut the angle off. Yeah. And I, I'll tell you the um, uh, how Luke uh, came off the bench, recognized that his D had rushed it and came back and played D. Uh, Luke's a center. A nice yep. read to give it instead of a two on O to make it a two on one and then a great stop by Addy. Right. Here comes Donahue down the right side. Throws a shot up high. Goalie has a little trouble with it, but is able to save it and push it back into the corner there. Here comes Edina out of their own zone. Across the red line, across the blue line. Tries to split the D, he's able to split the D. Oh! Refs, I don't know why he's not there, he goes. He finally yeah. blows the whistle. Can't imagine he could see it from where he was. It's under Addy, so yeah, right. it was a little slow whistle. I guess he wanted to make sure it was frozen, but. Um, uh, that puck just, just dribbled, um, got under Atticus there and I don't know how it didn't. The, the, I don't know how it changed direction there and didn't go into the net. It went around to the side there. So right, right. Face off one by the Orioles, but Edina picks it up. And those little Jackson going hard. Little Jackson again. Reminds me of number seven for the varsity team. Little little Bauer Newdecker, the smallest guy on the ice, but skates hard. Oh, there! Oh, I thought they might get a penalty on Edina there for tripping, but didn't call it. Nice cross ice pass and kind of ate the Edina player up there. He passed it to him in the skates, and while he was trying to um, get it, he uh, he lost lost his footing there. Here comes Jackson again, dumps it down. Looks like he's going to change. Four four Orioles change. No, three Orioles change. Nice outlet there. Nice job to step up there by, who was that? That was Shea Pekarik. Oh, Jungles is gonna chase it down in the Orioles zone there. Dino with his player behind the net, tries to throw it center out. Shot there, just went wide of the Orioles net. They oh, got here one. we got a penalty got coming on Edina here. And that'll, hey, that's gonna be give about a minute 10 in this period and then about 50 seconds on fresh ice. We'll see what the uh, see what the Orioles do here with the power play. Is that Shoemaker's gonna go two minutes for, I, I assume, tripping. I, yeah. Yep, yep, ref makes a signal down by his knees, swings his arm, that's tripping. Well, right now, I think the Orioles are really gonna need their, um, uh, need to get a power play goal here. Yeah, it, it would really be nice to get one before the end of the period. Yeah. See what Baker can do. He crosses the blue line, just dumps it down, gives chase. Uh oh. Here comes Luther. Loses Offside the puck. Nice, now. nice poke yeah. check there, and nice call there, John. I didn't see that. Yeah, he he came in, and then he he actually pulled the puck back over outside the blue, uh, and then back in. So we got 51 seconds here left in the second period. Minute 41 in the power play. Orioles change their all five players. Newdecker 
Throws the puck behind the Orioles, or the Edina's goalie. The goalie plays it nicely, throws it over to his winger over there who clears the puck out. That was a nice play by Edina there to get the puck out. You know, you don't see goalies at this level play the puck very much. And no. It can be a big help if they're able to do it. Edina gets the puck and clears it all the way back down again. Here comes Pekarik, long pass. Oh, Mobley tried to play it in his skates and just missed. So the Orioles have to regroup again. Nice job by Pekarik there not to get, not to panic and just throw the puck. There's a long shot. Oh, big rebound came out the other side of the net there. And who's that? Bill Willie. Willie let it roll, but Willie let it rip. The puck was kind of on the end though. Yeah. He didn't get all of it, and so it was kind of a knuckler there. And the goalie was back, got back into position nicely and was able to grab the puck there. And yeah. Get a face off. There's only three seconds left here in the second period, 53 in the power play. So, so I think Hank was thinking about nice maybe job. taking Just out to get the goaltender. But uh, there we are. Well, the end of two, and the Hornets lead uh, four to one as we go into third. But when you start, when we start the third period, uh, the Orioles will come out 50 seconds of power play. Uh, they'll get a chance to regroup when they do the ice here, and then they'll come back for a third period, and we'll see what happens. Overall, Tommy, what do you think? I'm, I'm, you know what? I, Based on the fact that, you know, all the research I did, um, looking at how Edina has played this season before, I, I, I didn't think it would be this close. I'm very impressed with St. Louis Park's effort out there. They're, they're working hard. You know, they, Edina's had, what, two power play goals or a power play and a shorty? Is that a power play and a shorty? Yeah. That's so, you know, you, get, you throw those two uh, special teams plays out and you got a 2-1 game. I'm, I'm very happy with the, uh, the Orioles' effort out here. Yeah, I think, I think the effort is there. I, th I think that um, they can help themselves a little bit by making a few uh, uh, plays, uh, you know, stick to stick, and they have to realize they have a little more time. Yeah. I, think they, I think part of the thing is they think they're going up against the number one team and they don't have time and they're throwing the puck a little bit where if they actually took the time and held the puck, kept their feet, caught the pass, moved their feet, Head up, right. they're going like, to find they're going to have time and they can make some better plays. Yeah, I'd like to see them come out and just, um, you know, play their game and not, not, I think they're still playing a little tentative. They're not, they seem like they're not quite, I've watched them play before and they, they seem a lot more free flowing and stuff when they're a little more confident. They're not worried about making mistakes. So hopefully the coaches can talk to them and say, hey guys, just go out and play your game. You'll do just fine. You're, yeah. you're skating with them. So. Sometimes I think they're feeling pressure and there's no pressure there. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, with that, we'll take a short break and then we'll join for the third period. And hopefully it's an action packed third per, uh, period and the Orioles get the next goal. And we have a ball game for the final 15 minutes of Saturday night, eight, Saturday night hockey at the rec. So with that, we'll take a break. We'll be back with you in just a little bit for the third period. Introducing a new day of the week. Someday. Now, everything you were going to do someday is on the calendar. Want to retire someday? You'll really want this. A My Social Security account at socialsecurity.gov. You can estimate your future benefits and manage current benefits online. Millions of people have a My Social Security account. Get yours today, because someday is here at socialsecurity.gov. Welcome back to the St. Louis Park Recreation Center for period of three between the St. Louis Park Bantam AA team and the Edina Bantam AA team. Edina leads this game four to one going in the third. But Tommy, the Orioles get to start out with 50 seconds of power play time. Hopefully maybe they can get one and uh, not give up a shorty because they've uh, had a shorty scored against yes. them already. And uh, if they can do that, it'll be an interesting third period. We got 15 minutes left, 26 minutes on the 90 minute clock. So that means that we should be able to play the entire third period under youth rules. And uh, right now, Edina certainly has the edge in shots and in scoring chances. Atticus has been playing well in the nets. Uh, and I think, uh, as we talked about, uh, I think the coaches probably talked to the players about a little patience out there and uh, keeping their feet moving, and good things will happen. We'll see how the uh, Orioles do this third period. Yeah, it should be, uh, should be a good period. Hopefully they can um, get a quick power play goal here and cut the, the lead down to two goals here and get some momentum for the, uh, the rest of the third period here. 
Yeah, I was hoping to get a score uh, on the game next door in the East Rink. We got the score A team playing the Orono A team. I have not got a score on that game yet, so hopefully we can uh, get one and report that one before the end of the night as well. There we go, Tommy Puck is off. Orioles try and bring another to go. Luke Mobley with a nice move there. Loses the puck and then, oh, good try by Willie there. He, he knew he couldn't bring the puck across, but he just couldn't quite get the, the handle on it. And it got in his skates and went across the blue line. We'll have a uh, face off there for offsides against the Orioles. If the uh, Orioles got their normal winger, Willie Basil, back there on the defense with um, three other forwards. Here, Willie's got the puck at the point. Makes a nice circle there, doesn't panic with the puck. Back to the uh, his partner there. Looks like the Orioles got a 1-3-1 one, one going here with one man high pass. Willie comes in. Oh, oh, nice shot there by Willie up high. I thought the goalie had it and all of a sudden dropped down and right in front there and Orioles almost were able to get a um, rebound there. But there's a shot just wide by Newdecker. Oh, there the net came off. We'll have a face-off. I'm not sure if it's up in the zone. That was so. some good pressure. That you know they were close on a couple. Uh, yeah. Blakey just Blakey Newdecker just missed to the left on a nice low shot. Uh, the goalie made a nice glove save on Willie. Yeah. And, and it was I think it was in a right spot where he he had a little trouble, so dropped yeah. down in front. And looking for a rebound. Looking there. for a rebound. Uh, but overall, not a bad uh, rest of the power play, but now it's uh, Back even to five on five. Five on five. We'll see what happens here. Medina tries to come out, loses the puck. Nice job there by Sorensen. Oh, throws a puck up just over the top of the crossbar there. Puck along the boards there. So Orioles come out with it. St. Louis Park comes out with it around behind the net. Drops it back down low again. Some nice cycling there. Tries to throw it back to Claire's. Clares gets the puck. Out there, it finally comes out, and the Orioles are going to have to regroup here. Here goes Clares. Tries to come across the line, gets taken down. The Hornets are going to come out here. Streaking down the side. Nice, nice job by, by Atticus. Perfect yeah. position again. Cut the angle down. Didn't Top panic. of the crease. Yep. yep. Kept, it, kept the rebound under control. Yeah, that... Um, Eddie Dyna play there was flying down the left side there. Nice job by the Orioles defenseman to keep him, not let him cut in there. Face off one by the Orioles. Puck goes all the way around. Goes Jackson hand, picks it up. Drops it off for Luke Mobley. Tries to go around two or, or uh, Edina defenders. Puck ends up in the corner under Mobley. I don't think he's quite out there. He knows it's there now. He realizes it's there. Edina breaks out. Jackson hand playing the puck again, trying to keep it off the Dyna stick. Atticus, ooh, has a little trouble behind the net there. Oh. Orioles come up with it. Mobley tries to drop it out, get it out, and Borlicki can't quite hold the zone. Play it back in. All the way. We're going to have, ah, uh, they say it's an intentional. Intentional, Intentional yeah. offside, so the... Uh, Faceoff's going to be all the way down in the Adina zone. And I think he, you know, uh, it was a nice call by the ref because if you looked, our winger was right between him and his D partner. So he really didn't have anywhere to go with it. Uh, and so we threw it in intentionally offside so that uh, there wasn't going to be a two on one break. Sorensen on the draw tries to shoot it right in, and the puck goes in the corner. Orioles are cycling down low. Oh, Adina, nice job there that by Adina defender to strip the puck from the Orioles player. Here goes Sorensen back in. Nice interception. Tries to center it. Ooh, he gets taken down. Gets upended there. I don't think he quite knows where the puck is. Maybe where even he is. He's coming off. He's feeling feeling something there. I, don't I hope think he's, he's okay. Happy. Yeah, he's not happy with that non-call. And uh, here's Blakey Newdecker picks up a loose puck. Sorensen's over in the bench there. I know it's not on the screen, but he's holding his head. Hopefully he's okay. Comes Edina out three on two. Nice job by who was that? Shea that was Eric. Nice he job to step been, up. I tell you, Shea has just been getting so many nice reads on the ice on D all year long. And even in tonight, he knows when to turn towards the board. He buys himself time. He makes a beautiful breakout pass. Uh, heck, you know, heck of a defenseman and, and, and very smart on buying himself time and making stick to stick passes. Comes Claire's, brings it across the red line, dumps it in, puck goes around the boards. 
Udina comes out with it. Nice job there. Those are on the Oriole defender. We got three on two working here. Centers it in front. Ooh, shot goes just wide. I don't know that um, Attica saw that. Nice job there by Mobley. Off the skate, the puck comes out. Udina's gonna have to regroup. Gets the puck there and throws it back in. Atticus plays it, stops it behind his own zone. Behind his own net there in the Orioles. That's a good win by Clares. He won against two, he got it up. Now we oh. just gotta get... For Licky, nice step up there. Takes a kind of a shot, a weak shot, and Atticus plays it. Oh, there's another turnover by the Orioles. That's not good. You can't do that. Tries to center it back out. Oh, nice job there by Atticus. Oh, puck comes out in front again. Another shot by Edina. Just goes just wide. Atticus threw his glove out there. Oh, there's a delayed penalty on the Orioles here. The, the Edina goalie doesn't see it. Oh, there he comes. Oh, I thought the puck came out there. I guess not. So Edina's got a six on five here. The puck thrown into the corner. Edina still maintains control, so they won't blow the whistle yet. Puck goes around behind the net. Edina still has control, so it's six on five. Until, until the Orioles, there we go. Until St. Louis Park ben touches Bakken the puck. Going for uh, maybe a rough. Um, there was a couple, a uh, little bit of battle, and uh, well, that's Claire's. Oh, that's Claire's going, so. Ryan Claire is going for a high stick. I didn't quite see it. But I didn't. I didn't either. Yeah. But with 10-14 left in the third period, Edina will go back onto the power play. Ahead four to one. Face off won by the Hornets. For Licky. Nice job there by Basil. To play the body. Picks it up to Luke. Oh Luke. Oh penalty coming on Edina here. Oh the shot by Mobley and the goalie did not. He knew he, he saved it and then thought it went behind him yeah, and he I turned around and he was able to control it. I don't think Willie was happy with that uh, quick whistle because I think he thought he had a shot at it behind the goalie. But you know what? Good good work by uh, Mobley there. Mobley and, yeah. you know, they got it out of the zone, got yeah. it up to Mobley. Now you go four on four, uh, creates a penalty by driving the net. Uh, Luke driving the net hard, creates the penalty. So good good, good, good work by the boys. And a penalty, and a penalty kill. Penalty on Luther there. I, I don't know. I didn't catch the call. I'm wondering if it was interference or Sorensen has the puck down low. So we'll play four on here, four here for another minute 33. Puck goes down. No icing as Basil was able to get the puck before it crossed the goal line. There's a long shot from the point that goes wide. Aidina down low again. Aidina's controlling the puck, looking for some help. He's got two Orioles there, and he loses the puck. Here comes Sorensen out. Oh, Ooh. pass tried to hit his teammate and then yeah, he just waited a little too long. Yep. Oh, boy. Atticus had the shot and then lost it. Oh, ooh, Mobley there with the pass and his partner wasn't ready for it and it almost went right to any Dinah stick. Pass up the wing to Sorensen. Sorensen takes a shot, it's blocked by Brinkman. Puck ends up down behind the Edina net. Sorensen's down there. Kroma's going to play it. Puck comes back out to center ice. Where Bakken will play it for the Orioles. Over to Walvatny, who dumps it down low and gives chase. Puck goes all the way around the board. Thesis there for Edina to pick it up. Ooh, has a little trouble with it, but that makes a nice outlet pass to Kromer, who comes up the right side. Tries a nice saucer pass there, and just ahead of his teammate there. Wasn't able to get a stick on it and deflect it in. Basil has the puck for the Orioles. Doesn't panic. Makes a nice turn. Comes up the side there. Oh. How do you not call a hold on that? Yeah, he's, I he stuck I his hand out, out and grabbed him. <laughs> <Right>. I'm with you. <laughs> uh, Even if it was your son, that was right, a penalty. Right. <laughs> I know. That's interesting. Normally if. Oh, nice wraparound play there by, who was that? Swanson. Swanson. Atticus just couldn't get over to the other side there in time. Yeah, normally if you reach your hand out and grab, they're going to get you on a hold. Uh, it, but then on the, when they came back and they got control, what a nice wraparound. Yeah, and yeah. that was sh another shorthanded goal for Edina as they still had a um, six seconds left on their penalty kill. So he uh, St. Louis Park had just got on the power play and Edina scored a goal to make it five to one here. Kara comes across the line, takes a shot, goes over the top of the goal there. 
Got a break there, probably offsides, and they didn't see it. Nine on the breakout. Nice job there by Jackson to hold the zone. Throws the puck back down low. Seven minutes and 39 seconds left here in the third period in a 5-1 game, Edina over St. Louis Park. Edina gets the puck across the red line, just dumps it in, gives chase. Shoves it back into the corner. Newdecker was gonna play it there. Here comes Newdecker out of the St. Louis Park zone. Two on two. Tries to make a move with the blue line there. Loses the puck to Verlicki. Nice step up there by Shea. Shea Pekera. It's having a great game. Yeah, Shea's playing huge. They got one now. Now we got a power play for the Orioles again. 7.04, and they really need one at this point, Tommy. They really need to bury Yeah, Shoemaker for Edina is going to go for roughing, I, I, I would guess, based on what I heard. I didn't see it down there. What did they call? Interference. Interference. Yeah. So the Orioles will go back on the power play with 7.04 left in the third period here as there's a two-minute minor on Shoemaker for roughing. Face off, nice win back for the Orioles, back to the point. Basil thinks about shooting, passes it over, shot there, saved by the goalie, Dinah, and Mobley has the puck. Oh, takes a shot and just misses the top corner there. Basil has the puck, throws it around behind the net. And Edina is able to gather it up there behind the net, and the defenseman does a nice job of not panicking and getting the puck all the way down. Edina's going to change a few players. St. Louis Park's going to stay with its same power play, and out comes Pekarik. Nice pass over there to Mobley. Takes a shot just wide, and it's going to come all the way out there. That's too bad. That's one, one of the things when you take a shot like that and you miss the net. Yeah, you either want to be short side or... Uh or on a power play, you want to set it up a little bit, look for that real high percentage shot. Uh, oh, just struggling a little bit. Carrick made a pass there. It was intercepted by Edina. Oh, one of the, St. Louis Park played it with a high stick. So we'll just have a face off in their own zone there. No, no penalty, just played the puck up high. Blow the whistle if St. Louis Park touches the puck first. If Edina touches it, nothing. So we'll have a face-off with 54 seconds left in the St. Louis Park uh, power play here and 5.58 left in the third period. We hope the Orioles can get her down there, put a little pressure on the Hornets. Hornets are going to back it up, try to kill off the rest yep. of that penalty. Smart play by the Hornets. Yep. Won the draw. The importance of draws, you know, kind yep. of one of those underestimated uh, aspects of the game. Absolutely. Yep. So the Orioles come out, cross center ice. No one there to get the pass, so the Edina drives it all the way back down. They killed uh, another 20 seconds off the power play. There's Sorensen. Oh, that guy had a head of steam going the other way. Pucks at center ice. Edina gets the puck down low, takes a shot. Oh, nice save. He tried to go up there and beat Atticus up high, and Atticus got the shoulder on it. Sorensen has the puck, looking for something to do with it. Passes it. Oh, here we go. Here's a shot over the top of the net. And Not the by much. Sammy Baker just yep. missed by an inch or two. Not a bad shot, and the goalie dropped. Oh, there was a puck that Orioles didn't see, and it came right to an Edina player in the slot. Oh, there's a oh, nice job there by uh, Bakken. Bakken to tie up the Edina player so he couldn't get the rebound there and put it in. There's a centering pass and a goal by Edina. Uh, that was a nice nice centering pass there by the Adina sure was. forward there, back out to his teammate there, and he... That was a nice play, nice yeah, play. Put it over the shoulder of Atticus there, and got six, six to one score here with uh, 4.38 left in the game here, or in the third period, I should say. You know what, the Orioles, they, they, don't hang your head. Game's not over. No, keep playing hard. Keep playing hard, keep sticking with these guys. Man, you know, as I say, it's been a seven-year hiatus since uh, we've uh, we played them just because of the A, double A. Uh, uh, nice play there by Edina. Beautiful the save one by Addy. Nice one-timer there by the Edina forward. And yeah, nice, even better save by Atticus. 
Nice job there by Donahue to block that pass to the Edina forward. Here goes Luther, is that Luther in? Atticus plays it behind the net, leaves it for his defenseman. That's Pekarik. Up to Mobley, Mobley comes in, tries to toe drag, try and go around the Medina player there, Thies. Oh, that's too bad. Got it on his backhand, couldn't get a lot on the shot there. And Medina brings it back. Goes across the red line and changes all four, or changes four players. The Orioles come out, long pass, nice job there by Vorlicki to pick that puck out of the air, that's, that's tough. Yeah, they had uh, they had a winger break in, and it was a great play by them. Great defensive play by Vorlicki. Nice tried to center it there. Orioles were there to pick it off. Earlier, Johnny, there Here comes Sorensen up to Basil, just off his stick there. Basil will keep continuing around. Oh, he got rubbed out there nicely. Medina gets the puck. Oh, played with a high stick. Well, here we have a two-on-one going the other way. Crosby coming down the right side. Eddie shelves it there, beats Atticus. That's too bad. Dinah, or St. Louis Park is trying to make something there and pinched and got, got beat on it. So Dinah scored. Nice play there by uh, Crosby there to take it. And That's a heck of a play. Beat Atticus up high. Yep. Well, you can take a look at this team and you can see why they be beat Stillwater 8 0. And they beat uh, White Bear Lake six nothing. Yeah, they've out, I, I, they've outscored their opponents this year, fifty-two to twenty-one, and they've had four shutouts. Yeah, in their game. So the Orioles have done well themselves. Though they've outscored their opponents thirty to eleven with with three shutouts. Comes Edina again with a shot. Rebound get just past the Edina player. Puck comes back to center ice. Brinkman gets it, throws it. Offsides. So the faceoff will be back out here at center ice. We have running time now as we have a six goal lead. So we're at 2 17 left here in the third period. Yep, and there's a uh, there's a little picture coming up of the youth. Uh, and I'm trying to look at some of those guys in the picture, but that was uh, some of the youth from our community, I believe. Got to recognize that picture. The website from the team website, uh, uh, the Banham Ace uh, team, all the boys up there uh, after uh, playing a little tournament, I believe. Here comes Sorensen breaking out of the St. Louis Park zone across the red line. Tries to make a move around. It's the puck. Ryan throws a shot on net that's deflected. Sorensen puts it back to his defenseman. He kind of clears the zone. Comes out, here comes Jungles. Takes a shot. Easy save for Atticus there. Puck goes in the corner. Jensen gets the puck. Nice, taken off the puck nicely there by, uh, who is that? Soren, Jonathan Sorensen again. Dina has the puck back in their zone. Shoemaker gets the puck, crosses the red line. Skates across the blue line, takes a shot. Oh, nice shot there. Yeah, and I think our D just sagged into the middle. Yeah, a there was bit. no. He There's let him you. walk right down the yeah. right side there, and, and not even at a uh, bad angle. Kind of came in right, uh, right, right square down, uh, which is, uh, and then of course, uh, a beautiful shot. Yeah, you know, Addy was out, challenged him, but beautiful shot. Yeah, it just found. It looks like I think it might have hit the inside of the post there and went right. into the net. So we got 32 seconds of running time left here. Dinah has taken a commanding 8 to 1 lead. Hopefully we can get through this last 25 seconds without any major incidences here. Nice breakout by Dinah there. They get across the red line and dump it in. Six seconds left in the game. Orioles clear the zone. Basil comes across, and there's the game. Nice job, though, by the Orioles. You know, I, 
They obviously Dinah scored, what, four late goals here in the third period? And, and they were, and I give you Dinah credit, very opportunistic. If, if, if the Orioles made a mistake, they capitalized they cut, they jumped on it. On it yeah. Now, to put things in perspective, it's been seven years, and there's been a reason why we haven't played the uh, Hornets in a while, because the program's been re uh, rebuilding. The last time we played, it was 17 to 1. Right. So, uh, 8 to 1, the program's come a long ways. Uh, not a bad. Uh, not no. a bad showing. No, uh, we get to play him again. Get to play him again, which is nice. Play him twice this year. So we'll see what happens when we go to Braemar Arena and get them. Uh, but uh, it's a fun game and fun to see the Hornets uh, back in this building again. And it's going to be fun to see our boys going yeah. back into Braemar again. Yeah, and I, I, you know what? I think this is a this will be a good learning experience and a good building block for the the uh, St. Louis Park program here. To um, you know take with the, the coaches like you said before they can take this tape and watch things if they want and you know point out some some things to their players that maybe they could have done different or you know we need to fix this and so it'll be um it'll be interesting to see what happens going forward i know the players aren't real happy but you know it's you know you they have to look at it as this is the first time they've played at this level right and seen the top team at their level uh in a lot of years. Right. Yeah. And I mean, these boys have never played uh, the top team in the state at this level. Right. So uh, to battle hard and yeah, you lose eight to one, uh, but certainly they had some opportunities here and there and, and they scored and they scored and Edina certainly uh, when they had their opportunities, they really finished and they jumped on those opportunities. Yep. So, you know, I got to think uh, it's been a double shift, but uh, Paul in the truck and and uh, Kurt and Dina, I can't thank you guys enough. I mean, uh, extra filming. They did back-to-back -back games here at the rec center. Uh, much appreciated for all the Park TV crew because these guys run around and everybody wants them and they're in high demand. And so to stay and do a, a youth game for our community, can't thank those guys enough. It's been a wonderful, wonderful night at the, the rec center uh, and a, just a fun night. And so I appreciate uh, appreciate the crew. Appreciate you, Tommy, coming out. It's thank been you, a John. It was fabulous a pleasure. night and uh, fun to see some park hockey. Until, until next time, tune into Park TV. We got some future games coming. Have a good night.